it's your boy King Brandon and today I'm coming to you with another review of Grownish and this time it's the episode 5 cash and um y'all got roasted it was just like roast flying let me get let me get up close and personal it was roast flying everywhere when I say everywhere I mean everywhere man God Lee Zoe was handing them out like it wasn't nothing and oh, Aaron bro I, I knew I felt sorry for you last episode but this time like bro Mm, terrible. It was terrible. But let's get into this review reaction. Uh, I say review reaction. This review of Gronish episode five. Let's get it. Sorry, y'all. It's cream. Cash was everything around me. I didn't finish the thing. You know, it's, I said just cash, but it's cash was everything around me. Sorry. Just a momentary lapse. Let's get into this review. Yeah. Take me to the truth. So yeah, never cross her dark side. Never cross Zoe dark side, cause you know once you get there, you're pretty much done for. She got Vivek. Like, oh man, the Vivek one I think was the worst one because it was his birthday, and that was just like a subtle dig, man. That was just like a subtle dig. But um, and I think Aaron's was the worst, terrible. But um, it started off with Zoe and Cash being all lovey dovey and stuff. I do. I'll let uh, maybe want to throw up because I know that it's not gonna last long. This relationship is a two to three episode max, and think about it. Last week was one, this is two, and next week is gonna be three, and then the week after that, it's over with. It's kaput. Two to three episode thing. It's gonna be kaput. This is not lasting more than three episodes. I'm telling y'all this, so y'all be prepared for heartbreak, cause he breaking her heart. Just so you know. But um. Yeah, it started with her being all lovey-dovey with him and all that, and then somebody, uh, they, 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 they was getting on Zoe. They was calling all type of names and stuff, saying like, you know, she a hoe, she all this, whatever, whatever. And then Cash like, oh no, man, y'all took it. My girl's pure. Hashtag virgin. And uh, it didn't sit right with her. It didn't sit right with her. I don't know why it wouldn't sit right with her. I think that's like something she'd be proud of, I guess. Um, but yeah, she got mad. And she, oh, she got oh God, she got mad. Uh, they fought for a while. She was like, you know, there's something that you shouldn't have, you know, said and all that, cause she didn't like it. Um, so they it transitions to them like uh, going into class and stuff. Hold on, before it happened, Anna and um, Nomi, they had they had a little moment right there, um, where Nomi realized her double standard. She basically like came forth with her problem. Like, you know, she, she felt kind of weird with him being bi and all that. Even though she was, which I don't get, like, you know, if you and he, like, what's the problem? Is basically, y'all basically in the same predicament. But, um, yeah, then they go to class. And, um, Charlie, you still are my favorite, bro. You still, you're, you're just so awkward and it's just funny. But, um, yeah, and golly, y'all is some, oh, my God. Y'all some terrible friends. Y'all couldn't have told her, like, you know, at least have a talk with him. Y'all instantly leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Everybody's saying leave Cash except for Vivek. Because he won't Vivek in his, um, at his party. He won't Vivek at his party. So he like, you know, just keep him around until my party. Then you can dump him. Because, you know, you want to get the groupies that Cash be with. Uh, so yeah, they're talking about leave him because, you know, what he did to her was terrible and all that stuff. And she was kind of agreeing with it, you know, like, she got to drop him. But... That didn't last long. We gonna get to that. Um, and yeah, and then it like goes into um, Skylar and Jasmine kind of roasting him a little bit, you know. And they kind of roasted Rob in uh, Black China. That was funny. I love that dig. That was hilarious because it's like it, it, it was kind of similar. But um, yeah, man, I took notes again, y'all. I took notes. Um, so yeah, and then Vivek, his party was gonna be. I, I'm just gonna say it. I do. Your party was terrible. He tweeted me, the guy who plays Vivek, he's like, I'm like, dang, man, your party is empty. Oh, yeah, and y'all should have live tweeted me, tweeted with me, because it was lit. It really was lit. It was lit, for real. Um, yeah, he was like, he, he had a little laughing emojis and all that. I'm like, you know, at least you got a present. That's all that matters. But we're going to get to that a little bit later. And, yeah, Zoe was just mad at Cash and all that until her moment with Luca. You're back, bro. You're back. Um... Yeah, until her moment with Luca where he's like, you know, um, why do you care what everybody else thinks about you and all that stuff? Because they were like placing over under beds, doing all type of stuff. And I'm like, you know, my over under, I, I, I think it's going to be Aaron. Aaron's going to be the dude. 
he's gonna be the dude. They're like, they really are setting this up for Aaron to be the guy. He's going to be the guy, bro. And um, yeah, he just and then she, he, something was going on with Cash's family and all that stuff. Like his dad was trying to like it. Well, it would have been OJ if Cash would have went to take it, but um. His dad was selling his old high school memorabilia and all that stuff. And then he was just going through it. And then with her not talking to him, it made everything worse. Because it's like, you know, you should be, even though we're not talking, you should kind of like still keep up with me, make sure I'm good and all that. That's the only problem I have with him. I'm like, you know, you're still supposed to make sure he's good and all that. Because, you know, that's still, your, that's still your boy. I hate saying that. But that's still her uh, boyfriend for the time being. And, you know, you kind of got to check on him and all that. Uh, yeah, so it goes into Zoe and Cash, um, like around Cash's car, because Cash is going to go to like his dad's place just to like um, try to get his stuff back or buy his stuff back and all that. And she's like, you know what, I'm going with you. But when I go with you, I'm not going to talk to you. She is a god at awkward silences. Like, I'm telling y'all, she that was a, that was golden. I know I said a lot of stuff and this was golden. It was two parts of this episode that were just golden, bro. Like, for real. It was this part and the roast that we gonna get to. Oh my God, that was, whoo, that was, she went in, she went in. But um, yeah, and they go and they riding and all that and she's like not talking and then he just admits like, you know, I I did it on purpose. Which I mean, eh, I, I really wouldn't, like I really wasn't mad at him, but I guess it's different because you know I'm a dude and all that stuff. I would kind of like agree with what he's doing, but like, um, yeah, I was like, it shouldn't have been that big of a problem. But he said he was doing it because of her brand, and I'm like, dude, you don't tell her that. You don't tell her that, okay? But they were being honest, and this was when I tell y'all this was honest hour. This was honest hour, like down to the T. And then uh, she got really mad at him she stormed out of the car and all that stuff she was finna call her a lift but he's like you know i i need this i need you and all that type of stuff all that lovey dovey stuff but he did like admit like you know i like you um somewhat because of your brand because of you as a person and your background and where you come from and all that and that's understandable he's like he's finna make it to the league i guess or whatever so he kind of needs that stability that she would bring and that's not even a, a, a necessarily a bad thing, but it's kind of the way that he told her. He told her very bluntly. And I was just like, okay, okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, he admitted that he likes her, like, a little bit because of her background and all that. And then they get to just, like, spewing honesty because they got back in the car. And then he's like, you know, would you like me if I wasn't going to make it to the league or if I wasn't a basketball player and all that? And she's like, you know, she kind of likes the fact that he is because it comes with the territory and everything like if she could like change all the other stuff but you know it wouldn't be the same and all that stuff and then he and then she asked him would he still be with her if she wasn't a virgin and didn't like fit his brand or mold or whatever and he's like I don't know and then she was like I don't know to his question too which I mean is a very honest question because you know you never can like there's never a right or wrong answer with that stuff because it's like if he would have said like he wouldn't want to be with her if she was like wow and all that stuff like I get that but like you know there's really not a nice way to say that so it's best to just say that you don't know and with her with him being a, like that's that's his dream that's what he loves to do he loves to hoop he loves to do all that stuff so you saying you don't know is like that's the right thing to uh, say too because if you say like you wouldn't want to be with him if he like won nothing and like wasn't playing basketball like that's kind of harsh too but it's kind of the reality so both of them is like you know it's an impossible thing but that's why they were being honest and I was like I'm like dang man y'all need to learn from this stuff everybody in the world like everybody in the world needs to learn from this stuff and um yeah, so after that, it goes into the next party, and then, like, that party was dead. Dead as a door knob. Nobody came but the little court group, and, um, Aaron and Nomi had a little moment. I think they, I think they gonna like each other at some point in this thing. They gonna have, like, a little fling or something. That's just me spitballing out there, but, uh, Nomi, she schools him on, like, um, all of the stuff that Aaron thinks is kind of, like, a double standard, but at the same time, it was like, dang, like, you kind of a hypocrite, because you're doing the same thing to dude that you're doing to him basically but uh yeah and that kind of made her want to like you know at least set the record straight with the uh dude and be like upfront with him that like you know she wasn't as okay as she thought that she would be 
because you know the double standard is kind of true like in a way because that's what she was thinking too so she's like you know even though she's not supposed to think that way she did think that way and I was like you know what props to you for being able to admit that stuff um, props to you and then dude was like you know I feel like you're kind of breaking up with me again which I'm like dang man sucks to be you bro sucks to be you and um after that we go back to the party and um what well, we don't even go back to the party we go to cash buying his stuff back from his dad that was supposed to be all sad and stuff didn't make me sad because I, I i don't care i don't care man i don't care he with my girl i don't care bro uh but yeah then it goes to zoe going finally going to vivek's party which was a desert it was a desert y'all could have saw tumbleweeds in there but yeah she goes there and then they just oh they roasted Zoe to death, bro. They roasted her to death. They're like, you know, you, you're acting delusional. He's going to leave you, one, which I think is true. That might be how you break her heart. Like, when he make it to the league, he dropping you anyway. That's what Aaron said. Probably like, you already got dropped right now. But then he played it out by saying, no offense. You meant, you meant to offend her, bro. You meant to offend her. But then the twins, they just like, you know, you kind of ban basically what they were trying to say is that she was abandoning them and they missed her basically that was basically some friend stuff because they they you could tell they missed her because uh, she's been with him a lot and they're like you know you kind of leaving us out and then uh, I don't think they should have did that because that girl went in she roasted everybody oh my god who Russell the twins saying the only people that make money in track is you saying boat, you saying boat, and you saying boat. Uh, she roasted um, Anna by saying like you know you, you might be in witness protection. Uh, then she got on Aaron, which was just like oh my god, terrible, 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 terrible. She got on his life, and then she's like you know you're older than us. Why are you always around us? Why are you in my freshman math class? That was the one I'm like. Hey man, you was just in love with him like two two episodes ago, one episode ago. Like, how you? It's cruel out. It's cruel out here in these streets. It's cool. Um. So yeah, and then after that, they like you know, but we miss you, and we don't think that you're making the right decisions. And I'm like, you know, I get that. I get that. I get that. And then after that, the episode pretty much ends with her and Cash being all lovey-dovey again. I know y'all in the comment section probably gonna be like, you such a hater. You're such a hater. Yes, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I am a hater. Uh, yeah, and then it ends with like, after they be all lovey-dovey and he tell her like, you know, if I could think of all of the ways that, you know, I like you, I wouldn't have enough time. And she's like, you know, she feels special when she's with him. Which I'm like, you know, I might be willing to sacrifice this episode, just this one. But then they went into the room and shut the door and the episode ended. We didn't get no previews. We didn't get nothing. It just was the very cut. They ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna do nothing. They, they not gonna do nothing. I, I guarantee you next episode I'll be like, <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, but yeah, that was the whole episode. Uh, this episode, I really liked it. I liked it. I liked the pacing. I liked everything. I liked the side stories. I like how everything kind of came together with that roast. That roast was legendary. It was legendary. My two favorite moments was um, the roast and um, yeah, well actually it ain't even two favorite moments. That was my favorite moment. I was going to pick two moments, but I'm like, you know what? That roast is just greatness. Because she just got on everybody and everybody got on her. I was just like, godly. Um, I don't think this episode was better than last week's, but I think that it brought something that last week's different. Last week's didn't. And um, that was great. I love this episode um, again, except for the end, because, you know, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. Uh, but yeah, it's me, boy King Brando. If y'all like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you know, live tweet with me next week. Live tweet with me next week. I can't even talk. Live tweet with me next week on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to be lit again like we was today. Because today we was lit, y'all. Y'all was like really, really like like getting down with the with, with the interactions and all that. I like that. But again, it's me, your boy King Brando. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you're new to the channel, 
it's this thing I like to call the three clicks. Easiest thing you're gonna do in your life. Cause you already know you're gonna wanna see more grownish uh updates and reviews and all that stuff. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna like this video, that's one click. You're gonna subscribe to the channel, that's two clicks, and then you're gonna do that post notifications, that's three clicks. And then you know if you want to, you comment out the stuff you want me to review or like react to because I do reactions and stuff like that. But yeah, it's me and boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.